Last November, California voters passed Prop 47, the controversial measure that reduces some low-level felonies to misdemeanors. It was supposed to save millions in prison costs, but opinions have been very divided on it. Now joining us here this morning, Rachel Soloff with the District Attorney's Office. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, is Prop 47 working? That is a difficult question to answer because the, the true answer is we don't really know yet, uh, and it depends on who you ask. So. Uh, did it work to reduce prison populations and jail populations? Yes, it did. So those numbers did go down after Proposition 47. But what we see now is actually those numbers are starting to increase again. Uh, did it save costs? We don't know that yet. They're still trying to determine that and nobody has seen any money for it. So, um, you know, and there's also the issue of the recidivism rate. We have seen crime go up and we have seen uh, the recidivism rate is pretty high, but it's still too early to say, is that directly tied to Prop 47? So that's a difficult question to answer at this point. And you kind of led into my next question just regarding the money. Where has the mon money gone? Well, so the way the initiative was written, there is no money that will be distributed until at least 2016. And that is when they will determine how much money has been saved. I have seen some reports that estimate that there will be $150 million in savings. We're not really sure how they came up with that number, if it was just because they're calculating the, the reduced number of people in custody. However, you also have to account for increased costs with our criminal justice system on some other sites because these people are coming back into the system faster and faster. The other issue with the number of money or the dollar amount is even if you say that there's $150 million in savings, only 65% of that is scheduled to go to uh, criminal justice um, issues, so the drug treatment, substance abuse, mental health issues in the criminal justice system. Um, but that that amount, 65% of $100 million, let's say that's a little bit less than $100 million, mm -hmm. that's going to be divided among 58 counties. So all of a sudden that number gets smaller and smaller and smaller, so it remains to be seen how much of a difference that will really make. So you talk about the 65%, where is the 35%, what are the possibilities for where that money goes? So the other 25% goes to education and then 10% goes to victim services. Got it. And, and here in California, how many prisoners did Prop 47 affect? So I don't know the total number of people that were in state prison that were released in California. However, for San Diego County, it was about 200 people that were in state prison that were released because their petitions were granted and they were resentenced under Prop 47. However, we have in San Diego courts right now about 40,000 petitions that have been filed for relief, so that covers more than just people who were in state prison. Mm -hmm. and, and this is not early release. I know there's AB 109. Are these two very completely separate issues? They are two different issues. However, they're both all they're both um, part of criminal justice reform that we've been seeing in California and across the country. Uh, it's it people who have had their petitions granted from Prop 47, if they were in custody, it was early release for them. They were released from custody earlier than they would have been. And I know former Chief Lansdowne is a big supporter of Prop 47. Current Chief Zimmerman is not. Where do we go from here? So um, people are obviously on different sides of the coin and even people in the same industries as you can see are on different sides of, of the issue. I think where we go from here is that we need to have some very serious conversations um, about how to get some of these offenders who are now misdemeanants, how to get them engaged in treatment and engaged in some of the rehabilitative programs that are out there that we used to be able to do with felonies. So we're just going to have to really all work together to figure out the best way to keep the public safe and try to lower the recidivism rate that we're already seeing uh, from these people that have gotten their petitions granted. In San Diego County, from the people that have gotten their petitions granted already in the last year, we see about a 21 or 22 percent recidivism rate, which means that of those people, um, how we're defining recidivism mm -hmm. is that of those people that have gotten their petitions granted, 21 to 22 percent of them have already had a new case filed within the criminal justice system.